Jimbo's Garage. Good afternoon everyone and welcome back to Jimbo's Garage. Today I want to talk about a few reasons why you would need a mag drill in your shop or garage. Today's video is sponsored by King Metals. They've got all your fabrication needs in one location. From hinges to hardware, balusters to metal decor, brass to aluminum, and a whole lot more. You name it, they've got it. Check them out today at kingmetals.com. Now let's get back to today's video. All right, so there's a lot of variations of mag drills. I, I have four of them here in the shop. Uh, they're big ones, they're small ones, and they come in all kinds of different uh, configurations, you know, so whatever fits your needs is the best. But for me, what I mainly use these for is moving around on my welding table, drilling big plates with very accurate and precise holes. I do a lot of steel columns where I have steel plates on the bottoms and I need to drill those holes. It's something that I can't really do on my drill press or my mill very safely. So this works very good. Clamp it down on my table magnetic base, move it all over the place, do what I need to do, drill holes fast, accurate, and precise. All right, these things also have the ability to drill vertically as well, um, and they're portable. I've taken this out to my job sites. I've been able to take this and mount it horizontally to a steel column and drill several holes in that steel column. Uh, works well for that, something that you can't do with the drill press. Some other features about mag drills, some of them have different options. This one gives you the ability not only to use annular cutters, which I use mainly in here, but it also has a chuck adapter. This is a half inch chuck, chuck adapter, so it drills up to a half inch in diameter. It also has a tap chuck right here. So um, with the drill adapter here, you can drill a hole, change it out, put a tap adapter in, and so you can drill and tap holes. This one here has variable speed. Some of them do, some of them don't. This one here turns down the RPMs very low for, for drilling and tapping, or you can raise the RPMs up. You know, pretty cool features. Some of them have these, some of them don't. And if you've never really seen a mag drill and, and, how, and how they work, I'm not, maybe you have, maybe you haven't, but this particular one right here, when you push this button, it activates the magnet and that is not coming off. It is attached super strong to the surface you're working on. Um, this one then has the on switch, off switch, and this also has neutral, forward and reverse. So we go forward, we push the green button on, the red button off. If you're drilling and tapping, and tapping especially, you've got reverse. And now spin the tap out, spin the tap, and shut it off. Pretty cool features right here. Uh, disengage the magnet, and you can see that this thing is, is just free to carry around and engage the magnet, and this thing is locked on here nice and solid. Some of these mag drills also have the ability to raise and lower the head uh, to allow you for uh, maybe the chuck or the uh, tap chuck, or maybe even reamers as well. Uh, just loosening off the screw and you can slide this head up for more clearance in this area right here. Just another good feature to have. All right, so mag drills are important to have in your shop. You know, it's not something you're gonna use every day, that's for sure. But if you're looking to step up your game in your fabrication or your fab shop or your garage, this is something that is gonna come in handy for you down the road. If you'd like, I'll put a link in the description for the one that I have. They also have a lot of different options there. Hope this was helpful to you. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next video. See you next time on Jimbo's Garage.